Together with other variables affecting the supply of significant weaponry globally, the war in Ukraine has dramatically accelerated decisions regarding arms transfers in Europe and the United States. CIPRI recently published a report outlining current trends in global arms transfers. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, established in 1966, is an international organization with headquarters in Stockholm that offers information, analysis, and suggestions about armed conflict, military spending, arms trade, disarmament, and arms control. As per the report, the five largest arms importers in the world during 2018-2022 were India, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Australia, and China, whereas the five largest arms exporters were the United States, Russia, France, China, and Germany. Despite a global drop in arms exports, following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, tensions between Russia and the majority of European nations have caused a substantial increase in arms transfers to Europe. Due to trade sanctions on Russia and increasing pressure from the USA and its allies not to buy Russian arms, the report said the United States' share of global arms exports increased from 33 to 40%, while Russia's fell from 22 to 16%. Also, France's arms exports increased by 44%. As a result of military aid from the USA and many European states following the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, Ukraine became the third biggest importer of major arms during 2022 and the 14th biggest for 2018-2022. India has once again emerged as the largest importer of weapons, but its imports declined by 11% between 2013-2017 and 2018-2022. The modernization of forces and ongoing border standoffs have driven India's demand for arms. The imports by Pakistan, the world's eighth largest arms importer during 2018-2022, increased by 14%, with China as its main supplier. The two-front military threat, that is Pakistan and China, remains a formidable challenge with no easy answers. The report has also compared two five-year periods of Russia's share in the Indian market, and it has stated that in the period between 2013 and 2017, Russia was the largest supplier of arms. However, Russia continues to be the largest supplier of arms to India, but from 2018 through 2022, the imports fell from 64% to 45%. India received about 30% of France arms exports in 2018-2022 and France displaced the USA as the second largest supplier of arms to India after Russia. As per the report, the decline was linked to a complex procurement process, efforts to diversify arms suppliers and attempts to replace imports with local designs. India has taken a raft of measures over the past four to five years to boost self-reliance in defense. These include creating a separate budget of around 1 lakh crore rupees for buying locally made military hardware, increasing foreign direct investment from 49% to 74%, and notifying hundreds of weapons and systems that cannot be imported and are planned to be indigenized over the next five to six years. However, the Indian defense manufacturing industry has a lot of challenges such as inadequate investment in research and development, slow pace, defense modernization. India has four companies among the top 100 biggest arms producers in the world. All four of these companies are public sector enterprises, so there has been less engagement from the private sector. Other than this, maintaining India's large armed forces is one of the challenges. So India's rising influence in the international affairs necessitates robust military prowess and self-reliance. Under Atmanirbhar Abhyan, the government has taken a large number of initiatives to boost it. Considering how much of a financial burden imports are, the reduction in India's weaponry imports is a noteworthy accomplishment. That concludes the video. I hope this helped you understand. Thank you for watching.